All right, Shalom, Akim, Shalom, Yasharala. First and foremost, want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rechach which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew. Also want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And I also want to send out a hearty Shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the Earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts to waking up the hopefully elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, this is your brother Karab from GMS Miami. Uh, coming back at you with another uh, episode of Spiritual Spill. And as usual, nothing written down, just flowing through the spirit. And at best, I'll quote precepts, okay? But what I've been meditating on is the fact that uh, how, you know, how meticulous and how methodical uh, the Heavenly Father is and has always been, man, okay? And, um, you know, scripture that pops in my head is uh, Amos, the third chapter, the seventh verse, you know, that the Most High would do nothing unless, unless he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, okay? And uh, coming from our power who teaches us order and, uh, you know, not not just, not uh, uh, you know, just order of, uh, of men, you know, uh, as far as camps go and, you know, uh, when uh, Moses had the number of the people, you know, uh, in the book of Exodus or the book of Numbers, Salakia. And, um, you know, not only in that manner, but also with, the mannerism of, of, of handling in business, man, or, or fulfilling these prophecies, okay? There were orders set up, okay? Or there was an order or a manifestation of things that the Heavenly Father declared from the beginning, okay? Like the scriptures say, he declared the end from the beginning. So everything had to meticulously go through that process, okay? And the scriptures tell us what? One day with the Most High is a thousand years, and a thousand years is to one day, you see? So that right there lets you know that uh, the time frame that we think on, okay, is, is is minuscule, okay, or minute compared to how the Heavenly Father thinks of things. But nonetheless, there's a, a, a mythology, a, a methodology of beh behind it, you, you see? And, um, you know, Aja, hey, we're commanded, one of, you know, one of the things that we're commanded, you know, as the servants, the humble servants of Yahweh Hashem Shai, is to do what? Is to hasten the day, okay? And we're not wrong for wanting this place to be destroyed yesterday, okay? Why? Because we know this is the place of our imprisonment. We're still captives here. We're still subject to payments, okay? Um, we're still trying down. And now to, to, to throw salt in the wound, you know, now we have to wear masks and, you know, take corona tests and all that other BS, okay? So we're not wrong for wanting to be out of this system. But the biggest uh, uh, comfort and understanding the time, the, 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 you know, the time frame, and um, you know, the methodology, methodology that the heavenly Father is using is knowing that look, it's on His timing, you know, and we, you know, just just sitting back analyzing it, man. The Most High is who we, man. That's why. What is that? Uh, Hebrews, I believe it's the thirteenth chapter. Okay, where it speaks about it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the heavenly father okay and when when you know you have uh when you've measured the time diligently or we're like as we are in the process of measuring the time diligently within itself then you'll be able to get a better understanding of you know ultimately the operation of the heavenly father now will we know uh specific details what day what hour of course not okay but we can see <laughs> we can see this thing building up man and the most high is about to crush these people, man. When I say these people, meaning the two-thirds, the undesirables of the nation of Israel, whether it be here or abroad, and also the heathen, man, and rightfully so, okay? Because enough is enough. We're seeing we're seeing the cap come off the wicked lid, man, okay? It's, bu it's busting out the top of the lid, bro, you know? But just looking at the process that the Heavenly Father is using, which is, you know... It, now, it may seem slow and methodical to us, okay? Why? Because we're hastening the day. And like I said, we, we wanted this thing, this place destroyed, you know, the, pretty much the first day you came into the faith. And really, the Most High used that uh, uh, vibration to compel you to, to not tarry, you see? Because the scriptures tell us what? Uh, uh, um, um, tarry not to turn to the Lord, roughly paraphrasing, you know? 
and that was used to compel us to come in this thing, man, because, you know, uh, I'll speak for myself, but I've heard other brothers with the same testimony that, you know, them trying to find a camp or join, uh, 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 you know, Great Millstone, it was like, oh, man, you know, I got to hurry up, you know? And the reason why is because we didn't have a, you know, the proper perception. We didn't have the proper perception of, uh, of, of prophecy, okay? But, hey, our mindset was, look, let me get in there now and then worry about, you know, if it comes years from now. But, hey, the scriptures tell you that hope deferred maketh the heart sick. You see, so we went through those stages as well, okay? But now, man, hey, most high is speeding this thing up. But yet it's still, it's still, you know, it's a methodical process that the Heavenly Father has. And when you look at it, when you look, you peel back the layers, you see that, man, the most high is absolutely dragging these people, man, okay? Because what you see is a bunch of people that were locked down, okay, in fear of COVID-19, Okay, and then these people were let back off the leash, uh, so to speak, you know, a little bit. The, uh, the master gave them a little more leash. Okay, and then there's that sense of hope that, hey, you know what? This thing ain't so bad, you know, as long as I wear my mask and my gloves and keep my sanitizer, you know, everything will go back to normal. And that's why you got people uh, 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 ignorantly <laughs> telling people, hey, people, just wear your mask, you know, not understanding that the... Uh, 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 you know, the government that they're ran by is capable of falsifying, uh, uh, you know, outbreaks. OK, not saying that the COVID-19 is a, is a, is a uh, 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 pandemic because it may be or it may not be, you know, but nonetheless, judgment is taking place, man. OK, but like I said, man, the most high is, is dragging these people, man. OK, and, and leaving them with this false sense of hope. OK. And, and, and there's nobody to blame but themselves. And the reason why is because, like it says in 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter, man, measure the time diligently within itself. And as soon as you see part of the signs pass, then you shall know that it is the same, very same time wherein the highest shall begin to visit the earth, man. And that's plain. But guess what? Our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So they don't even, they don't even know that's in the scriptures, you know? But instead, they'll combat us and say, oh, nobody knows the day. Of course not. Okay? But the scriptures do say measure the time diligently. You see? So, you know, the same narrative about our people, they're, they're, they're full of BS, you know? But guess what? Those BS days are coming to an end and they're seeing it. Okay? And you're starting to see, I'm, well, I'll say personally, and I know brothers are as well, but you're starting to see the, uh, 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 you know, the anxiety. OK, like I got a couple friends, one of them uh, 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 just became a head football coach and he's he's starting to get antsy like, oh, man, uh, you know, I hope they let us play five games this year. You know, when the reality is the most high is about to <laughs> destroy the sinful kingdom from off the face of the earth. You see. But like I said, man, that's that's the, the, the beautiful, the, the, the beautiful works and mannerisms of the heavenly father okay and there's a reason why he says in the scriptures i shall laugh when not fear cometh i will mock at your calamities okay why because they're gonna have that false sense of hope that things are gonna get better you know and they're not they're not we can we can boldly say they're not gonna get better man okay they're, they're, they're gonna get better but it's gonna be after america is destroyed and obliterated and all of our enemies are put under subjection man okay but like i say man just just witnessing and seeing the heavenly father you know, uh, set these people up for the big fat kill, man, is is absolutely beautiful, man, and, and, and rightful, man. You know, it's the righteous thing to do, man, because these people, they ain't looking for the Lord, man. You know, all this shit that's going on, they still in the blind, okay? And being willfully ignorant, man, okay? Why? Because they want to, okay? But, uh, hey, we just gonna sit back and watch the show, and Lord willing, we're part of that elect, man, okay? And, um... Yeah, let's just keep fighting, brothers. Closer than, nearer than we believe. So, uh, Lord willing, that was edifying. With that, I say shalom.